Hello. In this episode, we are going to learn how to integrate the Jam Red Carpet into a Ruby on Rails application. Now, the whole point of the Jam is uh, to be able to pass plain text uh, into HTML and in the end run the nicely uh, formatted uh, markdown uh, text inside a browser window. So here, for example, I've got uh, a post in a Ruby on Rails application where I have some kind of uh, plain text written that is formatted in uh, uh, using some kind of markdown tags. And in the end, it uh, renders uh, some HTML using the gem red carpet. And in the end, this HTML is sanitized and uh, it is played nicely in the browser. So you see, this uh, kind of uh, text is turned into HTML and then it is rendered nicely inside the browser. And uh, I usually use a lot of Markdown on a daily basis. Uh, for example, I use it to write my blog. And here you can see an example of one of my blog posts where everything is written in Markdown using Markdown tags. And uh, then it is uh, uh, passed into HTML and it can be nicely displayed in the browser. So I think uh, here, for example, GitHub might be exactly using the gem red carpet and some of the GitHub uh, styling in uh, order to turn this kind of uh, uh, text written in Markdown into nicely rendered HTML. So let's try to integrate the gem red carpet into a Ruby on Rails application and uh, explore some extensions of red carpet. So here I've got a new Ruben Rails app where I've just created a scaffold of nodes and a node has, uh, it has just a body. So let's create a node with uh, some markdown. And uh, let's actually not write it uh, from scratch. Let's uh, uh, get some markdown uh, text from Faker. So uh, let's install the gem Faker, bundle add Faker. And let's go to our seeds. And we will say node.create body fake down markdown, faker markdown. So we are just going to create a new node with the, some faker markdown. And let's say Rails DB seed. <coughs> okay, let's start the server and have a look at what has been generated. So going back to nodes, here we see a node with some text. If we go to show the node, edit, and look at uh, what we have here, you see multiple lines, some uh, uh, code inside a Ruby tag, uh, some uh, a header. And if uh, we go to the node, we see, well, it is just rendered as plain text. So first of all, for us to have at least uh, uh, line breaks, let's display it in simple format. Now, simple format is uh, just a Ruby method to display line breaks in uh, simple text. So simple format. Let's see, going back to show note, and you see previously we did not have line breaks and now we do have line breaks. Okay, it's already a bit better than what we had before. Let's now add the gem red carpet. So uh, I will say, oh my bundle add red carpet here's the red carpet gem and now let's uh, try to pass some text to markdown so i can try to take uh, this method and go to our app helpers notes helper and say uh, def markdown we are going to pass some kind of text inside and we'll say just markdown.new, we'll pass the text and well, no extensions for now. And let's try to use this helper. So I will say uh, equals markdown node.body. Let's see what it gives us. Okay, let's start the server. Okay, and now we have a red carpet object. So let's say to HTML dot to HTML. And you see, now we have this uh, <coughs> text that we saved in our database uh, rendered as HTML. So it was formatted as HTML using markdown, using red carpet. And if we say 
HTML safe on top. Then you see it is sanitized and it is nicely displayed as Markdown. Yeah, you see we have some tiny code blocks and the code blocks are not uh, really visible that these are code blocks. Uh, so let's uh, add some extensions. Here you see we have an empty list of extensions. And if we go to the red carpet uh, documentation, we can see that we can add a big list of extensions. So let's uh, add some. Uh, for example, uh, uh, what? Let's add the uh, underline. So an underline in Markdown would look as... Uh, equals equals oh actually it's a highlight let's add the highlight so you see here we have uh, this and it should be passed as some highlighted html but it doesn't seem to be working if we go to our html view you see this uh, double equals is expected to be passed as uh, a highlight tag but it is not uh, why isn't it? Because we did not enable highlight uh, inside our extensions. So in the extensions, I would say something like highlight true. And let's see if it works now. I refresh. Okay, let's uh, do it in a slightly different way. I will move extensions uh, out of here. I'll say extensions. And we'll have highlight. And we'll pass uh, asterisk extensions here. Let's refresh. And you see, we have the mock HTML tag that we whitelisted inside uh, our renderer. So if we say HTML save now, you see the highlighted text is uh, whitelisted and it is displayed uh, inside our markdown. In a similar fashion, we can uh, enable other extensions. Let's actually enable more extensions and see how it looks. I would say uh, extensions equals, and I would just add the, uh, well, all the extensions that we have here, I've uh, copy pasted a list. So here are the extensions and uh, let's refresh. And you see the formatting has uh, changed a bit more. Now let's, uh, yeah, let's go to this form and you see the form doesn't look uh, good at all. So let's update the form also. Let's say uh, in the text area body, we will have uh, uh, rows. So let's have like 30 rows, for example, by default. Let's uh, say that uh, we'll also have a style. And uh, in the style, we'll say width 50% of the screen. Okay. So looks uh, a bit better when we are editing. Now let's add the uh, Ruby block. Uh, let's say def users, user.all, and, and let's see how this block of code looks. Okay, here we have a block of code, but you see it isn't really formatted nicely. And uh, how can we customize our output HTML and uh, change some colors, change some fonts? Well, let's go back to our helper. And let's have a look at the, the unsanitized HTML. And here we have a pre tag, pre and code. So let's uh, style this uh, a little bit. We can go to our style sheets, go into application CSS. And here we would uh, add something like, for example, we have uh, pre, a pre tag. And we would say uh, background color uh, silver. Let's see how it looks. Let's go to our HTML safe version. And you see now the code blocks uh, that are inside pre tags have a background. And in some places where we have just inline code, for example, here, let's also style that. So uh, let's say code. And we would say color red, for example. Okay. And you see the code pieces where we just have uh, inline code are also uh, somehow styled. 
So this is uh, how we can use uh, some of the extensions. But except of extensions, we also have uh, renderers. Now, what are renderers? These are additional options that we can uh, set on our HTML that we render with Markdown. For example, let's have a link inside our uh, inside our well text uh, that we have here. So I'll have a gem red carpet and a link to the red carpet. Let's update the node, and here we have a link. And if we click the link, you see it redirects us to the red carpet uh, gem page. But we don't want to have a full page redirect. We want it to open always in a new tab when it has been done through our past markdown. So for this, we can use an extension. The extension would be link attributes. And on the link attributes, we would add a parameter that uh, would say target blank. So how can we do this? Well, uh, we would need to. Uh, make this method a bit more advanced. So let's uh, create a new method, def advanced markdown. Again, we're going to pass in the text. And uh, let's see, what do we have here? So we can have a renderer. Let's copy this. And uh, we will also need something like red carpet. Markdown view, something like this. Okay. And here we are going to pass in the renderer. And we're going to pass in some extensions. So here we have Markdown view. Here we have uh, previously we had just the text. And instead of having just the text, we're going to say red carpet render HTML, and we're going to pass in some additional render options. So no links, uh, hot drop, these are render options. As we have uh, here, renderers, let's say renderers or render options. And render options equals no links, hard wrap. Let's see how it works. So we've got render options and let's also enable some extensions. So what are the extensions going to be? Well, we had some extensions here. We would say extensions equals uh, uh, highlight true uh, and the uh, hard wrap true. Okay, so we've got render options. We've got extensions and uh, let's see if anything gets rendered. Let's go to our node partial and inside that of just markdown, I would say advanced markdown node dot body. Let's refresh. Okay, and again, we have a red carpet markdown object. That's good. Let's uh, now say that we want to render. So here we can use render and we're going to pass in the text. Let's refresh. And here we have uh, the rendered HTML. And I would say HTML save. And you see it has rendered, but we have disabled all links in the render options. So now I will say no links false. And the uh, links are now allowed. And I can add some additional option like link attributes. So I would go to link attributes uh, in render options. And inside this, I would uh, add something like uh, target blank. And let's have a look at the HTML that it generates. So you see we have a ref and target blank. If I say blank uh, S, for example, you see it is blank S, but that isn't going to work obviously. So again, I will say HTML save and voila, we have a link. And if I click the link, then it opens in a new tab. So that's about it. Uh, and uh, again, you can add uh, all the render options that you like. You can add uh, all the extensions that you like to have a very custom uh, output of uh, your markdown in your specific application and you can use uh, 
regular CSS to style uh, the markdown and for it to have a unique appeal in your application. So thanks for being with me and see you in the next episode.